Hey Cucumbers, I wanted to give you an update on the progress for my CO2 incubator. In my last update, I showed how to connect the CO2 sensor, temperature and humidity sensor. So what's new in this update is the actual CO2 regulation, which you see here, and which uses a relay back here. And just for convenience, I've 3D printed a little holder for the CO2 cartridge and that just allows everything to stand upright. The simple explanation for how this works is that when the CO2 sensor detects less than 5% CO2 in the environment, it will trigger this relay to open, which allows then this regulator to also open, and there's a solenoid here, and the CO2 can be released into the system. The trickiest part of this whole design in some ways was actually just finding the correct adapter to go from this regulator to a 16 gram cartridge in this case, since I wanted very small cartridges just for testing the setup and because it makes it ultra portable as well. Now to load a new cylinder, basically just Screw it in until the seal breaks. You can hear it leaking, and then you go quickly as tight as possible. Now you can see the pressure right here. As you can see, the wiring is starting to get a little bit messy here, but I'll show a schematic specifically for the relay and the regulator in this video. The wiring for the relay is actually quite simple. Coming in, you have three wires. The first is the ground wire, then the five volts, and then the signal pin, which it's set to high, switch on the relay, switch to low, and we'll switch it off. On the other side, you have the interrupted positive wire coming from the input power supply. You see here, continuing on and then the ground bypasses the relay and goes directly from the input power to the regulator power supply. So if everything is working correctly, as you can see, CO2 will bubble up through the regulator. And then if we take our sensor, and place it above, once the sensor recognizes above 5% CO2, the regulator should switch off again you can see. And then if we take the CO2 sensor away, as soon as the CO2 levels drop below 5%, the regulator should switch on again. The next step will be to add a second relay to allow temperature regulation via heater cartridge, but I still haven't gotten that system working yet, so that'll have to wait for another video.